Good evening to everybody in chat. I hope uh, everybody is doing well. My PC seems to have fucked up quite a bit lately because every single thing has been changed. Every single input in OBS has been changed again. Um, this was actually going to be the stream of last night, but I had to do it today because I had to uh, take care of the dogs again because people are just fucking stupid nowadays. Um, but uh, yeah, we are going to talk about the climate in Pokemon games. And I haven't seen a video done on this, so hopefully this will uh, yeah, be a good one. <laughs> because uh, climate in Pokemon games is uh, something that has been uh, in my head lately, and I've been wanting to do a video on it for a long time. So what are we going to do in this video exactly, or in this stream, whatever? Uh, we are going to be looking at every single region thus far, so that includes Paldea, even though we don't know any Pokemon, or we actually do because the leaks have been uh, confirming every single fucking Pokemon. Uh, we are going to be talking about the region itself, you know, is it, would it physically be possible in the real world to exist? And there are certain things that I will be going over, but honestly, let's just start at the start, shall we? So here we go. Here is Kanto. And Kanto is kind of a, yeah, uh, just a flat region overall. It's just a couple routes, a couple grassy trails. Oh, you don't even know what you're gonna eat. Oh, that's uh, good to know. Uh, it's just a couple grassy trails, a couple mountains, uh, you know, and then we have the uh, Indigo Plateau over here. Uh, there's, I don't really think, it, it's higher up, it's, it's on a mountain, but I don't really think that's... That is anything to, uh, you know, to, to, to say that, oh, this is worth it. But Kanto is kind of flat, so there's nothing really to talk about it. This is kind of more tropical uh, area. And yeah, the rest is flat. There's no snow whatsoever. Even though I think there's only one ice type. Of, well, there's two. We have Lapras and we have Jinx. But there, there, there wasn't really uh, any ice typing back in the day. So yeah, the, the, the Kanto is really just bland when it comes to that. Yeah, okay, this isn't really gonna work, but <laughs> unfortunately, uh, this isn't uh, gonna work uh, properly. But uh, Johto is flat as well, but it did include uh, Mount Silva. I don't know if Mount Silva is actually part of um, Johto or Kanto. I think it's part of Johto, I wanna say Kanto, or the, the Indigo Plateau is both Johto and Kanto. Um, but this is also kind of flat, uh, both uh, of these regions are supposed to be in the middle of Japan. Uh, the first four regions are uh, pro provinces of Japan, and I'll s showcase that after Sinnoh. Um, but when it comes to this, uh, there, there isn't really a snow... Well, there's a snow snowy area around here, if I do remember correctly. There is a snow... You have the snowy path as well, but that, that's the only thing snowy around here. I don't know why that is the only part snowy. But these two are supposed to be... Uh, both Johto and Kanto are supposed to be in the middle of uh, Japan. If I remember correctly, I'll showcase that in the map we have of Japan with the regions in it. And uh, then we'll see. But the climate in both Johto and Kanto is really just regular, I would say. You know, it's not hot, it's not cold, it's just both. You know, winters are decent, summers are decent, uh, autumn and spring, yeah, they, they exist as well. Uh, yeah, no, you have olive oil over here. There's no, there's nothing really, uh, mu there's nothing, nothing to say about these uh, regions because they are just flat. But we do have the Sinnoh ruins or the Sinjo ruins over here somewhere. I don't know where they are exactly, uh, but these lead to uh, Johto or Sinnoh from Johto to Sinnoh, uh, and Sinnoh is supposed to be up here. And if you, it says in the entry, uh, when you actually located the Sinjo ruins, it actually states that uh, if you go to the deepest part of this cave, you can actually find yourself going into Sinnoh. But it's probably going to be around Mount Coronet or something. Um, it's, it's probably where you're going to end up with Twinleaf Town. I don't know. I really don't know. But um, yeah, Sinjo is located in the most northern part of uh, Johto, which means that it's also going to be a little bit more snowy over there because Sinnoh is snowy as well. You see, you you probably won't see that in um, Pokemon Diamond or Pearl, but Platinum actually has more of these um, little edges. Um, fuck, what what kind of edges are they? The the snowy. Um, the snowy patches everywhere in Twinleaf Town, in Sandgem Town, uh, you, you can see them. I always thought they were sand patches, but they were snow patches. But that was just my uh, seven-year-old imagination. Next up is Hoenn, and this one is actually a little bit better. Why are they all so fucking small? I hate it when they are so fucking small. 
Uh, Hoenn is actually a bit better. This is located in the most southern part of Japan, meaning it's more tropical because it's if you know where Japan lies on uh, the uh, on the you know on on Earth, then um, the southern part is probably going to be the most tropical, considering the fact that it's around the middle of the um, middle of the yeah, the middle the middle belt of the Earth. Meaning that this is indeed more tropical, which means that the volcano makes sense that it is here and a lot of water makes sense that it is here. Unfortunately, uh, Hoenn is plagued by a lot of water. And yeah, that's also where the meme came from, you know, 7.8 out of 10, too much water. Fucking IGN and the shit. But the thing is, I, I think that they actually had to make this balance because of Groudon and Kyogre. You know, the water uh, guy and the earth guy, basically. So to keep it in balance, you know, 50% land, 50% water. But the thing is... Pokemon already has a lot of water in regular games, so why the fuck would you make it 50%? But this indeed has tropical climate, uh, because we in uh, in the next one we have the Battle Resort located over here, I want to say. In uh, Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire, it's, it's somewhere over here, it's located over there, and, and it has a tropical vibe to it. Uh, Pseudopolis has a tropical vibe attached to it, they, they all have that tropical uh, vibe attached to it. It's, like I said, it's the most southern part of Japan, so this is probably going to be the most tropical one, and you can also see that by uh, the inclusion of the volcano, and uh, not a mountain here, but there's no snow anywhere, from what I can recall. Is there snow anywhere? No, not as far as I know. Mm, I'm currently just checking with that. There's a lot of jungle here too. That's kind of a jungle. Also found in the Amazon, of course. The Amazon uh, in Brazil and everything has a jungle, for example. So yes, it would make sense that there's a jungle in a sunny, a sunnier setting or a jungle vibe, because Fortree City is located in one, if I remember correctly. And yeah, then you also have Pacific Lock and uh, the fuck, what was it called again? The spaceship thing, and then yeah, the other leak is over here. But it, it's all just summer, 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 summer. But when we go to the next one, is where we actually find the fact that it's getting colder. Here we go. This is probably one of the best ones thus far in terms of quality. You can clearly see that this is snowy. This this part of it. This is snowy. You can clearly see that, and you can also see that the mountain tops. Uh, of uh, my coronet are snowy as well, especially this part, of course. This is a little less snowy, which I don't really get. But yeah, there's two snowy parts, and it makes sense. You know, this also has a has a very colder climate, which is also located. But the thing I don't get is that there's a swamp right here. You know, if I don't think it, if it were to be real, honestly, the um, the swamp next to mountains, I I think it's possible. But the thing is, it's just too cold of a climate. Can I, the thing is for me, can a swamp make do in a climate like this, in a cold climate like this? You know, because you have Canalev here, you you see, I, I think you can see snowy patches uh, around Sanjim Town, Twinleaf Town, as well as the lake. There's a lot of over there, and then you also have, well, I don't know about uh, the Battle Park, but also around Mount uh, Coronet itself, you can see in, it, I think, I want to say Eternal City, and you might think that this is a desert, or Berg City isn't a desert, why did I make that? Here we go, now I made a dick, okay. Um, Orberg City isn't a desert, so it makes sense that it's actually there. You know, because Orberg is a mining town. Orberg is in the desert, even though it has a lot of sand and earth and everything. But there's nothing... It has nothing to do with the desert. There's also no desert here, clearly visible. Except for the most northern part, which is over here, which is called the Battle Area. Or as they like to call it in Japanese... I don't know. Something like that. But this is the most northern part of uh, Sinnoh. And the thing that I don't get, we have Stark Mountain over here somewhere, which is an active volcano, which has an active volcano. The thing that I don't get is this, the Snow Point City, is, lies over here. You know, this is Snow Point City. The thing is, it's in the same belt, in the same line as Snow Point City. But why is this, why is this tropical or why is this... Winter. Is that even possible, you know, because they are on the same length on the Earth scale? How is this possible that uh, the battle area is tropical and that this part is from Snow Point and as well as Mount Coronet and, and the rest is just more wintry, I would say. 
You know, how, how is that possible? That I don't think that would be real. But maybe th th that's a thing that I'm um, working on in my mind right now. And I've been looking at for the past few days. Maybe fucking, what do you call it? The, the active volcano. Uh, if you go to Stark Mountain, you can also clearly see the ashes falling down because it's active. Maybe that has some influencing in the climate. I'm not sure about that, honestly, if, the, if, that, if that's really the case. Because I would say that that is actually the case for this situation, considering that um, the rest is completely widened out by snow point. You know, it's, it's, a, it's completely white over there, but over, over on, on the other side with the battle area, it's just this, you know? It's, it's just, it's weird for me. So here you see that Sinnoh is part of the yeah well the first the first uh, the the most top or the, the the very top of japan i don't that they are like i said they are based on provinces i have no idea which they actually are but you know i have no idea uh how the provinces are called but that's besides the point but here you can see it's on the most northern part and if we go to google and then uh let's take a look if the earth is still flat no it's still it's it's still a sphere but it looks a bit Oh no, wait, the earth is flat according to Google. Well, fuck me. Japan is located on... Uh, is it around the same? Oh, it's somewhat more southern compared to the Netherlands. And because I live over here, if I take a look at that, then... Yeah, Japan is actually more southern. But the thing is, I think Russia in general together with uh, yeah, the entire part of Northern East Asia has some type of wintry i would say that that this part of russia especially is just much more cold and i, I think japan also has the same things in the winter you know that, that, that they have a bigger problem but this is where it's based on Hokkaido. i, I think sino is based on hokkaido on the province of hokkaido so we also have Hak akihabara i would say although i do not want to focus here is this the province or sendai tokyo japan Saitama? Shozuka? No, um... But yeah, this is where Hoenn is based on. Let's just go back to paint for a bit. Um... Yeah, it's all the first four regions. And you also have the Oblivia. I don't know what this is from, so we're just gonna cancel that straight away. Oh, fuck. We're just gonna cancel this. I've never looked at Unova as part of Japan, because Unova is based on... Is based on... What, what the fuck? Um, the United States. What the fuck didn't I come to think of that earlier we have a little well this part here it, it, i guess you i don't know what that actually is it's just the regular i guess but then all of a sudden we have a desert here it makes sense because sin or you know the united states that's you know uh, united states also has this in real life you have the grand canyon you have the rocky mountains which is completely um let me see if we take a look at this it is possible, you know, because here you go. Here's the... You have Nevada, Nevada and everything in Utah. And here we have the Rocky Mountains, which basically go through all these. I don't really know if the Grand Canyon is in the same wavelength as the Rocky Mountains. I want to say it is. And I also think that the Rocky Mountains go all the way up to here. Although, don't take my word on that, because it's my... Uh, my geography is kind of fucked up lately, but yeah, we we see a big desert here, which makes sense because Las Vegas is literally housed in a desert. As you can see right here, uh, we have the greenery over here, and then we have the yellow over here. The thing is, this doesn't make sense. This doesn't go from desert to savanna or wasteland to green again. You know, Nimbasa City is just green all over again. Which makes zero sense in terms of a climate and environment standpoint. Especially with fucking Castilla City laying down here. And then Unova goes all the way up even worse, to be honest. But oh, trust me, you know you might think Unova is the biggest uh, issue offender here. It would make sense that these mountains to the right and left are snowy. The thing with this is, is that they are completely snowy. Not just a little bit, they are completely snowy. It would make sense that mountains have snow at the very top. This makes zero fucking sense. How are these mountains over here just regular mountains and these are snow all of a sudden? I would say that makes no sense, but again, I'm no fucking 
which doctor. I'm no doctor at uh, knowing how mountains work. I'm no mountaineering engineer or whatever. But uh, yeah, I don't think this works. And then just go back to grass afterwards. It, it doesn't make sense. You know if it makes zero fucking sense. From a Pokemon standpoint, it makes sense because you do want the uh, desert Pokemon to live somewhere. You do want the ice Pokemon to live somewhere. You do want the rest of the Pokemon to live somewhere, you know? If there's no desert, then, yeah. Where are the desert Pokemon gonna live? If there's no ice, where, where are the ice Pokemon gonna live? For example, why, where, where can you even catch Jinx in the first game? I don't even know anymore. But then, we go to Gen 6. Which is even a worse offender, because that's Kalos, which is based on Northern France. And if you take a look at this, why is it small again? If you take a look at this, this is just nor Northern France all over again. It starts to make less and less sense. They include... I think this is kind of a small region compared to uh, the others. Because one... I, I think there's about 10 towns. Late In the, in the later games, they house uh, a little less cities. Yeah, the amount of cities uh, has been reduced to about 10 or even 8 in some cases. Compared to the, the older games, which are housing 12, 15... Of, uh, of cities and towns and everything. But Carlos makes zero fucking sense as well. Most of these actually make zero fucking sense as well. Uh, after the fourth generation. Because France doesn't work the way it works. They, they, they keep including a desert in the middle of nowhere. And then just keeping it there. You know, it, it's it, it's like... You, you know, we gotta make a desert. Okay, fine, here. This part also makes zero sense to me. I don't know why they didn't do this in the much more southern part where the Pyrenees are, or I guess you could say that perhaps these are the Alps. If uh, Yeah, maybe that's it. These are the Alps that, uh, that are going along this line. Makes sense, kind of. It makes zero sense on why there's mountains literally everywhere scattered in between. It's there. And then we also have this town where the second gym is. We have Lumios in the middle, of course. And yeah, then you have all. Then you just have this snowy area over here, which, like I said, it makes zero fucking sense. Is this even snow? Because I think that Olympia is somewhere over here, right? Or am I just playing wrong on this? It also makes zero sense that there's a small stroke of snow going over here, and then just going to Wolf Rex Town. I don't know any of the Gen Six. Uh, games anymore, uh, honestly. Uh, when it comes to uh, Gen 6, I haven't played that in a decade, so I I do know Dendermill Town, but I don't, don't even know if if that's the one with the windmills anymore, because there's also a Gen 5 one, uh, where uh, you have the Jim Lee the Bryson, which is the Ice Town. I don't even know if that's Dendermill Town, because they, they both have mills, you know, so <laughs> fuck me. But this is... Yeah, apart from the fact that the snow and the desert is just completely random, everything else just kind of works, you know? It's based on France, and France is basically wine, baguettes, and everything, and yeah, they, they had and a lot of uh, hedges, uh, which are shaped like hedges, certain type of hedges, I don't fucking know. So it, it does work, believe it or not. It really does work. All of this does work, except for the snowy parts. Well, the snowy part actually makes sense if it's the Alps. I don't remember too much about Kalos anymore in terms of this, the snowy area. It would make zero sense that there's a little stroke of snow heading down to Wolfrix Town. I can't understand that for the life of me, but the desert, it's a repeat offender, honestly. Except for an Alola, because when we go to Alola, that there is room for a desert. Alola is based on Hawaii. I don't think there's too much thought put into that, but Alola has a much better a way of going about with the environment as well as the climate. Even though this is a sun, this is the most sunniest setting you can probably get in the entire uh, Pokemon franchise ever, because Hawaii is Hawaii, and there's tropical storms, and the rest is it's just about I think 30 degrees Celsius on average there. Uh, but you you can clearly see here that there was a lot of thought put into it. Uh, you have uh, you have Ula Ula. You have uh, I, I, I can't remember all the island names for the life of me anymore. It's been a while since I've played uh, Sun and Moon and Ultra Sun and Moon. I've been sticking to Gen Four, Gen Five, and Gen Eight lately. So Gen Six and Seven have been kind of uh, fucked for me. But it would make sense that the islands have a tropical setting, of course. Um, you have this 
I want to say it's a volcano, although I, I think, yeah, I think it's an inactive volcano. This is the first island because your house seems to be over here. I think it was. Um, yeah, it would also make sense that cities, they have to scatter the cities around on the island somewhere. So yeah, then you just get a big fucking city over here. And then, yeah, there's some woods over here and some jungle and whatever. And like I said, jungle in a tropical setting is always necessary. Then you also have the volcano over here because it's Hawaii. There has to be a volcano. There have to be mountains as well. Hawaii has, I think, a thing for everybody. When it comes to it, I think Hawaii has a thing for everybody. The the fire, uh, the volcano makes sense here for the fire types, and they also uh, did a really good job on this part, the last island you go to, the one with the desert. It it makes sense that there's a little desert mountainous thing in a tropical setting, such as fuck these little bugs on my screen. Honestly, though. It would make sense that there also is some type of desert, even though this is more of a desert mountain ruins thing in a tropical setting like this. And then you also have the Executor Island, which is it's just... But the best thing they did for me here is not this shit that's garbage. It's not this shit. It's not this shit. It's... This is another desert. It, like I said, it makes sense that there's a desert in a tropical setting. And the fact that they just did two here, that these are kind of more mountains and this is just a plain desert over here. Makes sense. They are two different environmental things. And then you also have a bay where you can just do your thing. Uh, you also have... I want to say... I don't really know what these are, but these are rocky... Yeah, rocky hills or something. This is kind of a swamp jungle-esque thing here. But the thing I'm mo the thing that I like the most is the middle part here where the leak is. You can't access this yet, and the thing is, when you are in a tropical setting like you are uh, with Alola, what are you? How do you get the ice types in there? Because they have to be ice types, otherwise you get an imbalance. It's like um, Gen Four not having any fire types, you know, or barely any fire types. And then in Platinum there's five, and in Diamond or Pearl there's three. Flareon? No, Flareon and Magma to only get... No? No, you you do have access to Flareon, Infinite and Rapidash in Diamond Uphill. And Rapidash and Flareon don't, don't do shit and Infinite is a starter. So you're basically giving the other two options away automatically if you do want a fire type on your team. Because Rapidash and Flareon are shit in Gen 4. And in Gen 8, Flareon is better. Rapidash is still shit. Rapidash? Rapidash? I, I always call it Rapidash. So if I pronounce it wrong, I'm not gonna... Fucking make it right now. Well, in a, like I said, in a tropical setting like this, you're gonna need something in terms of a snowy setting. And the fact that they did this really well, unfortunately, they only did it at the very end. So you don't really... You probably have a theme by this point. You know, it, it, I don't think that uh, people are gonna wait until the very end of the fucking game, or the main storyline at least, to do something uh, to change that theme. So that's why I hate it that they actually put it so far up uh, the storyline chain. But it makes sense that there is a big hill which houses snow. Where you can catch snow Pokemon. Where you can catch ice Pokemon and things like that. You know, things like Avalok, uh, Mr. Galarian, Mr. Mime, and it's Unova. Or it's, it's Alola, not Unova, fuck's sake. For those who live in England, I think we both know that some of these things don't work. They really don't work. Especially near the top here, they really don't work. But we just start off at the very beginning. They made half of the region. Like, I think we could say it's half of the region. Yeah, it's it's almost... I think it's 40%, 30, 30 to 40%, maybe even 50% of the region. Flatlands. And then I'm also still talking about this piece right here. And this piece I'll check in later. Because this doesn't count. This, this specific one over here doesn't count. And I'll get back to that later. This is just all flatlands, you know, it's all farmland and everything. And then you also have the um, uh, the weld area over here. There's nothing really to say about the weld area because it's just flat. So we, we will be going uh, up top in a bit. And yeah, the, the it, it would make sense. Uh, everything south of this makes sense. But when we go north, what do you see? What do you see, chat? Nobody's in chat, but still. I see a snowy area over here all of a sudden. 
Which doesn't make any sense now, does it? Why would this be an entire snow covered area? Why would all these mountains be covered in snow? And these aren't, for example. Or these over here aren't. Why aren't these covered in snow? Why don't we see that on top of this? Here in Galar, I think, and also Paldea. Well, trust me, we'll be going into Paldea in a bit. But when it comes to Galar, they really fucked this one up in terms of climate standpoint. They made, they fucked this up in general, but that has been going on for the last few years now, unfortunately, with Pokemon games. They have been getting lazier and lazier, but we'll do a video on that when it's time. It makes zero sense for this specific part that I just put in for it to be snowy and snowy only and just this the entire city of london over here on top of this shit is snow free it makes zero sense and also the route don't, don't even get me started on the route the route is just that that that's the route it's that that that's it that's route 10 it's just a climb up a steep hill i think that's the same in alola though but alola actually has more going for it than gala it's just a climb up a steep hill a couple trainers and that's it. Well, you also have the, the uh, search essay, which is over here. And I get it, it's a snowy town. But the thing that makes this one really bad, really, really bad, is this part over here. For those who don't know, this is the trench, uh, the desert trench. Before you actually uh, get into search essay, I think it's from Route 7, you need to uh, get into a hole. I don't know how to say this, honestly. It, it's, it's a hole, it's a trench, and then it's a desert. How is that desert next to a snowy area? Makes... Even for my glasses, it makes zero sense. It it doesn't make any sense that, that, that there's a trench with sand and a partial sandstorm, I want to say, next to a snowy area. They could have made this a snowy trench. Then it would have made much more sense, you know? But going from a desert to a snow area right away, the first time I saw that, I was kind of... I, don't, I didn't really know what to think. Because I was like, okay, we're going into a desert city, and then all of a sudden I saw snow, and I was like, okay, game, you do you. And now the wild area. You know, this is more farmland, by the way. This shit is more farmland. This is just fine. The, city, the cities are fine. You know, they, they, I understand that they have walls and everything to make sure that this, you know, the, the, the climate and everything, the environment stays outside. But... That's the thing. Do these walls, you know, do, does this, the Great Wall of London, let's just say it like that, does the Great Wall of London make sure that the snow doesn't go over into the city? I don't think so, but I don't see anything, because as soon as you go up from Route 10 to the snowy city, all you see is the snow just vanishes completely, and you're there up the mountain, and the sun starts to shine. What? This all is part of the wild area. They think like, okay, looks fine, you know, there's some, there's a little bit of sand over here, that, that's okay. There's a little bit of, uh, whatever the fuck this is, there's a little, a couple of little lakes. The thing is, in the wild area, because uh, the wild area is such a big part of the game, and they only have 10 routes in this one instead of the usual 15 to 20, you get really weird stuff in the wild area, meaning every day, or every... Yeah, I, w I think it's every day, I want to say every 12 hours, but I think it's every day. After 24 hours, the weather changes in a certain specific area. Now you think, okay, there's a weather forecast. You know, there's a weather forecast. What's the problem with a weather forecast? There is no problem with a weather forecast. Why is there no problem with a weather forecast? Because the weather is being forecasted and it's going to change someday. You know, it's, it's going to change, so... Why not? The thing is, is that the weather forecast here consists out of either sandstorm, snowstorm, or blizzard, sun, or rain, or storm. Do you see the things that are wrong with that? For example, you can walk from this lake over here to this lake over here, have a sandstorm at the left lake, have a rain thing in the middle one, you know, have a storm in the middle one, and if you go to the right, You'll walk into a blizzard. How do you go from sandstorm to rain to a blizzard? In... I, I mean, I know the weather is really depressing in uh, the United Kingdom, okay? 
In the UK, the weather is really depressing because I live in the Netherlands and we have the same weather. We we call it the Dutch weather. We we have a Dutch climate. Like I said, the weather in the UK completely unpredictable. But I don't think that a sandstorm, a blizzard, and a rain shower promptly next to each other is worth it. It would make sense that there's a sandstorm at the northern part, you know. But the thing is, the desert, the the, the desert, the sandstorm doesn't only locate itself in the desert, it locates wherever it wants to. And the thing is, it changes every day. So you have a blizzard, and the next day you can have a sandstorm. I think that in terms of... environment and everything, this also makes... much more sense than most of these. It would make sense, because this is also a tropical setting, considering the fact that, like I said, it's Spain. It's based on Spain, so it would make sense that there is some type of desert -y theme you know and there's a lot of uh savannah lands or wetlands you know there's a i think i think this is going to be a swamp this part and this is also going to be some type of swamp with some barren land and this is just a desert over here and at the very north on this part you have the snow area makes sense you know it's up northern first of all and there are mountains so it makes sense you know you also have a little beach area over here so this does make sense I just realized that I was completely wrong about this, so I'm very sorry. But when it comes to Peldea, I don't really have too much to say about this makes zero fucking sense. I don't know what this is, but this makes zero fucking sense. I also don't know what this is. This hole in here seems to have some type of relationship in terms of the story. People also have been saying that this is the leak. Don't I don't know. I don't care for the rest of it, you know? I mean, I just gotta check when I get Scarlet the Violet in. Let's just do that first, you know, let's just get Scarlet and Violet before we do anything else in terms of uh, talking about the storyline. But Paldea has been a really balanced region. I think the one that is most fucked up in terms of climate and environment is Gala. Yeah, when it comes to that, I think uh, that Gala is the most shitty one. Because Gala is completely out of line. Sinnoh makes sense because it's the most uh, northern part. Um, Kanto and Johto make sense because they are next to each other and they are the central part of Japan, so they don't really have anything to go by in terms of uh, real snow areas or desert or anything. Uh, Alola is pr probably the best one for me in terms of uh, how they did it, you know? Apart from the fact that the leak is the, the only way to get ice type Pokemon, you know, which is at the very end, like I said, it's also the only way to get Crabomina Ball. I actually had uh, the prevolution of uh, Crabomina Ball on my team the very first go, and yeah, that kind of backfired on me when I saw that when I saw that how to get Crabomina Ball you actually need it <laughs> because it was level forty. Or level 50, I was almost at the leak, and I was like, okay, it's still not evolved, how do I evolve it? It said, like, you need to put it at the leak, and I was like, well, what the hell is it? Oh, it's still not, it's still inaccessible, so yeah. But this is the problem that I have with, um, Gala. Also, just because you have a desert, and then all of a sudden you are in a snowy area, how does that even work? It makes zero fucking sense, but, as that aside... Uh, Gen 6, uh, I don't like it when they put a desert in the middle of some some place, okay? I just don't like it. So I think I would rank Alola highest, Gala lowest, and um, the rest in between somewhere. So, ladies and gentlemen, that was it for this one. I hope you all enjoyed it. Um, I wanted to do this because I just wanted to. I have no idea on why I wanted to do this in the first place, but I think that... This also has, just has to be no, noteworthy to some people, you know, on um, how, how to just look at a region itself in terms of is it believable in the real world. I think Alola would make sense. Uh, Sinnoh would make sense. Uh, fuck me. The other three regions, Kana, Kanto, Johto and Hoenn would make sense. Gala wouldn't make sense at all. Kalos also kind of low tier and yeah this one is you know it's good it's good it's good and I, I, yeah i'm just looking at this and i'm just saying it's, it's good honestly there's, there's nothing i really have to say about paldea there's, there's some type of minor changes that i would make but when it comes to the rest of paldea we'll see on how it transitions i haven't look i haven't played it yet so i don't know how it transitions but thank you so much for watching of course uh, i will see you tomorrow probably tomorrow i don't know because i'm going to be celebrating rick's birthday but anyway thank you so much for watching leave a like if you enjoyed comment if you haven't yet follow me on twitch youtube everything and i'll see you again next time